Tonight, the state health care authority answering our questions about the Sooner Select rollout to shift to managed care for Medicaid, drawing criticism from health care providers. So we want to go to Fox 25's Tom Ferguson, joining us live from OHCA with more. Now, Tom, I need you to fill us in on how we really got here in the first place. Item right, back in 2022, lawmakers passed a bill directing the health care authority here to make some major changes to Medicaid. A couple years later, some aren't too happy with what's new. Is Medicaid in Oklahoma in crisis? Providers and concerned Oklahomans are saying yes to that question after the state shifted to a managed care model in April. Under that system, private insurance companies are taking care of plans for Medicaid members. This program impacts many. According to this June 2023 Kaiser Family Foundation report, 20% of Oklahoma is covered by Medicaid or the Children's Health Insurance Program. Last week, providers raised the alarm that insurance carriers were failing to pay for services, leading some to worry about the future of clinics statewide. And some providers have expressed concern over clinics across the state, mm -hmm. and especially in rural areas, mm -hmm. shutting down in a matter of weeks. Is that a concern here at the Health Care Authority? We always take our provider concerns extremely seriously. Um, you know, we we want our members to be served. And so any provider concern like that, again, I, we just encourage them to reach out to the health care authority. The OHCA says $250 million in claims have been paid out since April 1st and that the new program is set to pump an additional half billion into state hospitals. The authority is also highlighting new member services possible under managed care, like help with food, items for newborns, and proactive interventions on behalf of patients. Amid all this, Durant Republican David Bullard says the rollout's been a disaster based on the concerns he's hearing from providers across the state. How would the health care authority rate the rollout of Sooner Select at this point? We're really excited about the rollout so far. You know, like I mentioned, we're just a little over two months in and we're already seeing a lot happening in our members' lives. I wish I could live in the same land of puppies and sunshine that the health care authority is living in right now. Unfortunately, I'm hearing directly from doctors who are saying this is not good. Amid concerns over payments to providers, the OHCA says those dealing with issues can get in touch with the agency to work things out. The authority also says it's offering financial assistance to tide providers over as issues get resolved. Bullard's countering saying current efforts aren't cutting it and the damage could soon be irreversible if nothing changes. Bullard says he's looking to the beginning of next month to see if those worries about clinics shutting down come into play. The health care authority says it's committed to helping providers and holding insurance companies responsible during this process. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.